Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar on Close the Loop on Color. Today, we have two presenters. We have Jay Ryder, one of our application engineers at x as well as Jay Rutherford from Rutherford Graphic Products. I'm Robert Grotans, the Global Technical Marketing Manager at x and I'll be moderating today's webinar. Just a few things to go over before we get started. Due to the number of people that are attending today's webinar, we will keep everyone muted. During the webinar, if you have any questions, please use the questions function on the GoToWebinar panel. We'll have some time at the end of this webinar to answer a few questions. If we don't get to yours, we'll have someone follow up with you. Finally, this webinar will be recorded and you will receive a link so that you can review the webinar at your convenience. So with that, I'll turn it over to Jay Ryder to start things off. Great, right, thanks Robert. So let's talk about some challenges that printers face. As customers become more educated about color, printers face increased demands to produce accurate color and as always do that in less time. Therefore, printers need to identify quality issues quickly and correct them early in the production of the job. In this world of global competition, there's always pressure to reduce prices. Shrinking margins demand greater manufacturing efficiency. And because press runs are becoming shorter, shorter make-ready times have become a must. So what we need is automation. We've shown that press automation can cut make-ready time by 30% or more. To reduce make-ready, it's all about speed. Speed in measuring the color bar, speed in displaying the data to the press operator, and speed in applying that data to the press run. Handhelds are too slow. They're capable of measuring everything they need to measure, but they just don't do it fast enough. So what market segments are we concentrating on? We're looking at commercial sheet fed and uh, folding carton packaging. In those marketing segments, we're looking for customers with no measurement or color control systems, customers who are only using handheld solutions, and print shops that maybe have older presses that currently lack modern press controls and want to upgrade to an automated solution. x rite offers two scanning systems. We have the Exact Auto Scan and the Intellitrax 2. Now, the exact auto scan comes in 29 inch or 40 inch track lengths. It's aimed at small to mid sized printers seeking automation at an affordable price. It can scan 40 inches of color bar in less than 15 seconds. And it can scan anywhere on the sheet. The track has a pass through, so you can measure in gripper, tail, or in the middle of the sheet. And because it uses the exact handheld as its scanning head, you can remove the exact and use it for uh, patch by patch measurements and then return it to the track when you want to scan another color bar. It has black backing that conforms to ISO 12647, so you know you're always measuring over the correct backing material. And there's also an optional vacuum pump for ease of use. Prevent sheet curl keeps the, uh, the sheet in place during the measurement. The other solution we have, the Intellitrax 2. Generally for 40 inch presses or larger, it's for mid to larger printers looking for fully automated hands-free solution uh, operation. It scans a 40 inch color bar in the same 15 seconds, but it has automatic alignment. Uh, it'll find your color bar for you and track that color bar for the length of the bar, regardless of any skew or uh, misplacement. It can scan color bars that are uh, as small as two millimeters in height. And it's non-contact, it never touches the sheet as it scans across. And it does have the same black backing that the uh, auto scan has that conforms to ISO 12647. So let's take a look at what kind of data these systems can capture in 15 seconds or less. Here's the result of a color bar scan. This screen capture shows the density of every color of a six color job with measurements in every key zone. From this data, the press operator can make adjustments to bring the press into spec for the target densities across the sheet. But that color bar scan also gets us other information that might may be in the color bar. There are screens displaying dot gain, ink trap, gray balance, print contrast, and also delta E. Now, the delta E screen shown here is very important. We know that press operators are very comfortable with density, but if that target density does not get us the color we've promised the customer, then it's not much good to us. So we always take a look at the delta E screen. Here, the press operator can determine if the customer's color tolerances are being met at the current density or ink film thickness. If the colors are off, 
the press operator can then switch to the best match screen, which tells the operator if there's a density adjustment that will result in a closer color match and if that will be sufficient to bring the job into the required tolerances. Which with one button click, the operator can move that best match density and make it his target density and run the job to the new target. Now, putting all the information in front of the press operator is great. With every scan, the press operator has unlocked all the information contained in the color bar and can take action. But we can take this one step further. If we feed that same information that we present to the operator into automation software, which can then interface with the press to provide full closed loop automation, we can really realize much greater efficiencies. X-Rite partners with a few closed loop providers, InkZone by Digital Information, which is distributed by CMYK distributors in the US, uh, Printflow's closed loop solution, and Rutherford Graphic Products. And today we have Jay Rutherford of Rutherford Graphic Products here to tell you about his company's closed loop solution. Uh, okay, we we uh, team up with XY to do the the our IntelliLoop and IntelliSet systems. Uh, the vendors have color managed all the way from the photograph to pre-press all the way out to the press, and it's nicely automated and controlled by very sophisticated software. But the last step is often eliminated: automation at the press console to automatically control the keys for you. And this this is what we do with our IntelliS loop and IntelliSet systems. So our mission uh, is to reduce make ready time and cut paper waste. x right has these two scanning systems to which we can adapt. The, uh, the auto scan, the IntelliTracks 2, et cetera, which they scan a entire color bar and provide data to the IntelliLoop system for our closed loop control. The IntelliSet preset system goes with the IntelliLoop system, and the IntelliSet learns from good data provided by IntelliLoop, so that when you reach color, a one-touch command is given to learn from that job, so that the IntelliLoop, uh, the IntelliSet system, excuse me, always learns from good data, so, so as to keep trying to improve the presets and try to evolve toward that never-never land of a perfect preset. We get close. But, off, but not perfect all the time. But the learning helps us to get there. So we uh, also say until a loop gets to color faster using a good preset. The preset is really a, a major component of the whole system. Gets it close, and then the scanning brings it in. Okay, just a little bit about the system uh, and what you see at the press, but this is the job selection screen so that when a job is ready to be run, it appears at the press. And this will give you an example of what that looks like. So the operator can find their job and, and touch the job number in order to download the job to the press and preset the color. Further, further on into the presetting, the colors are selected and, and put in a rotation. For example, on this class, you see in unit one, we're running the uh, Pantone the hex orange, then K, C, M, Y, and process pink in the last unit. They are assigned by simply touching the respective color in this box, then touching the unit on which it will run, and then there it will be, touch, touch. As time goes on, these uh, color configurations are often stored at, at the uh, option of the press operator so that when you run the same kind of a job, you can simply use the drop down menu here and select the configuration that you've already saved. For example, this one was named process plus two spot. So we had the spot color in unit one, spot color in unit six. By selecting this, it would simply put the colors in their respective color units. Also very important, we learn by paper type. By every key on the press has its own curve at each unit, and also by paper type. You can have as many paper types as you want, but normally it's about three or four. 
In this case, it's coated paper. You would touch the drop down and put the paper, select the paper type you are going to run. Very important for learning. At this point, you'll be ready to preset the press. You can simply touch go here. Follow the green, touch go, and it would preset the press. But if you so choose, you can pre look at your preset before. You can preview the preset. For example, here, we see with the hex orange, which is in unit one, where the keys will be, percentage open you see here. You see it on its respective plate. These are the key numbers and of course the key openings. And down here in these tiles, you see the sweep value numbers, which we computed. So in the first unit, we computed 45 settings for ink sweep, 35 on the second unit, 39, 40, 45, et cetera. Now, if, if uh, the professor operator uh, would prefer to adjust that sweep before uh, pre-setting is actuated, you can move the sweep up or down here. It moves all the keys at the same time, or the sweep rather, I should say, moves them all at the same time, and the key openings automatically compensate in the, in the opposite direction. Then you would hit go, the press is preset, and then you go to close looping at that point. Okay, that's IntelliLoop. So with IntelliLoop, how does it work, or how it works? All right, uh, the first item is that it makes effective use of IntelliTrack 2's best match feature, which Jay Ryder had just described. The delta E targets are quickly reached. Well, uh, of course, we want a perfect delta E of zero, but you, most folks want to get three or below on their delta E's. But the, the nice thing about the best match, it really makes us Rutherford look good because it will tell you what the de what setting and density will give you the, the best match to what you have in the press. Best match uh, with regard to spectral reading. And so as I say, they get it three or under, you're doing pretty good. But the good news is, is that the IntelliTrax tool will recommend what density target you should have in order to reach the smallest possible delta E. On the IntelliLoop, no setup is required by the operator. It's automatically done. So what it does after the job is set up on in the IntelliTrax, all that data is sent over to IntelliLoop. After a scan, the IntelliLoop screen pops up automatically. The system automatically tracks and displays the key openings on the Teleloop. So you can actually see what the key openings are. And when you want to see the uh, density or spectral readings, you can flip back very quickly to IntelliTracks to see what those readings are. But you can see the corresponding key openings in IntelliLoop. And also what we do on this last bullet, it shows what the key openings will be. It will predict your key openings for you. If yes is selected for a closed loop action after a scan. Okay, so we're looking at the, uh, uh, the Teletrack screen right here. And it's giving us the density readings for the six color job. And as I said, you can always flip back and forth very quickly. We have the uh, Rutherford tool bar across the bottom. So if they want, you want to flip to another uh, program like IntelliSet or IntelliLoop, you just simply touch it and it, it goes to that program. When you scan, however, you're in scanner, you would touch measure, you would scan, and then IntelliLoop automatically pops up. It pops up instantly. Then you can make the decisions as to what you want to do a key correction or not. That's the screen I'm talking about. Here's the yes, no. Up here is the yes, no box for do I want to correct keys or not? Maybe there was something funny about that scan you don't trust. 
So they are bigger than hit no. If they want, they say it looks good. Okay, let's go with it. Hit yes, and it automatically moves the keys. If you want, if you want to not have to make that decision, you can set it on automatic. It will automatically move the keys post scan after a scan. Now, look at this first color, black. What you see are the key openings graphically. The white lines are where the keys will move to, the openings it will move to if yes is selected. On the next scan, you would see the new, you would see the key openings, new ones, plus where it recommends the keys will go to. Okay. All right. Just to go over the advantages of, of, of the system that we are talking about with the X-ray scanner and with Rutherford to stabilize and standardize production. We say we can standardization of colors, whatever the make and model of press and the number of production sites, commonality around the world. Stability of settings and repeatability. That's another part of the system. They, they, they have multiple presses with the same system and the same behaviors. Worldwide dependability of color for brand owners. We find that from brand owners, they are sticklers for their brand color. We can give them that dependability they need around the world. Production can be shared and optimized. Now benefits we get into is to reduce waste and overall cost. Again, that, that's our mission. We say uh, with a system 30% or more during make ready and run, high, and a high return on investment, fast payback. We say 30% or more, we often beat that, but we wanna, uh, in fact, some people get up to 50, et cetera, percent of savings. Uh, it, it depends on the operation uh, and the press, et cetera. Again, we stabilize the standardized production and process wherever the model of press or the experience of the press team. And if you can avoid redoing jobs or doing give backs, you've made considerably more on your investment. Easier to fit your client's needs on every press and every plant everywhere in the world, G7, PSO. You have commonality of color control. User-friendly, we say it's user-friendly, so it's, it's easier, automatic, and more efficient, whatever the experience of the press operator. The operation of the system is quite intuitive, and they can get onto it pretty quickly and start saving time and waste. We also say it's easier management for the team, and fewer mistakes are made throughout the process. Support us worldwide. We have installations in Asia, continent of Africa, Europe, of course, the U.S., and we have to support all of those installations. Now, return on investment. x right has this particular screen in their, in their website where you can plug in the figures and look to see what your return could be. So for retrofitting, we, Again, our business is updating and retrofitting presses for saving waste and time. So we say you can keep your press. If you want to have these modern color control features, you don't really have to buy a new press. We say keep your press, put the system on, and increase the profitability. Stabilize your press for quality, better quality and consistency, and, and avoid those annoying givebacks of no charge reruns. Again, we say reducing costs, repeating ourselves again, but 30% uh, or more paper savings and 30% more or less make ready time. The time savings on this can really, really be amazing. Return on investment from three months to 11 months, depending on the operation and the substrates used. For a new press, 
You can keep your costs control, under control from the very beginning. That is less expensive to purchase the unit itself than what comes from the OEM, from the manufacturer. It's less expensive to maintain. And as part of the investment and borrowed capital for the whole press, you get a faster return on investment. Get G7 under control right from the beginning. The x ray system has a very nice G7 uh, control on there, which can give our system, the Rutherford IntelliLoop, good data for getting to G7. Pantone library, the system handles colors uh, using the, of the Pantone colors that you get with the IntelliTrex scanner. Again, we say stabilization and standardization across the plants and from plant to plant around the world. Commonality of color control systems from press to press, old and new. So if you have the old presses and the new presses with the same system on it, operators can be moved from press to press. And you can expect the same kind of color to be derived from each press. Okay, we say it's a flexible solution. Uh, we uh, work with all the press manufacturers, excuse me, we have systems for all the press makes in the world. Uh, and here are some of them. We, got, we have the Heidelberg, KBA, Man Roland, Komori's, Ryobi, Voss, Mitsubishi, Shinohara, Sakurai. And on the bottom, you see some uh, closed loop color controls that uh, companies that retrofit with online closed loop. And we can provide interfaces for those as well. For example, Quad Tech and QI press controls out, out of uh, the Netherlands. So we can't finish this without doing some, uh, some testimonials. There's a fellow from Nashville, Tennessee. It's uh, Phillips Printing. And you can read what he says about it on the bottom, but I think what is very significant is his last sentence, that when he said, this combined solution has exceeded our expectations, reducing make-ready waste by 60%, and enabling us to reduce the crossover point between offset and digital. We like customers like that. Uh, but 60% and lower crossover point has been very, very good for them. Okay, we have systems all around the world, as I mentioned. Here's another testimonial uh, from a fellow at a Scottish company, Bell & Bain. It's a packaging printer in Scotland. And lastly, we see a group of Frenchmen around the press in France, a company called, and pardon my lousy French, Les Dupont. Uh, my French cohorts will tell me if it was good or not. But anyway, they, they uh, say they're, they reduced their losses, paper losses by more than 40%. So when you get that, that territory of 40%, your payback is, is right around five or four months in that area. Now, what comes with the system? And I talked about how it can connect to consoles. You see in the lower right here, one of our interfaces. We, most of our interfaces are contained in this blue aluminum box you see here. This is what connects to the press. So from our computer, which is right here screen, and computer uh, screen control, it sends data to this box, and this box translates it for the console itself. That, that's how we do all the presses. And as, as you can imagine, the, the insides, the printed circuit, circuitry inside of, of the uh, interface is different for each press. And we see the other connecting elements that take place. They, this, goes, uh, this is an ethernet cable that goes from our computer to the box. And this particular cable goes from the box to the press. And that's the end. And Jay Ryder and I will be happy to take some questions. Thank you, Jay.
at this time, we do have a couple of minutes to answer one or two questions. If anyone would like to ask a question, feel free to submit one now. We'll give it about 30 seconds to see if any questions come in. Looks like we don't have any questions at this time. That's okay. Um, so we'll just end the webinar here. Again, you will receive a link to this recording. And if you do think of any questions that you'd like to ask, we have both Jay's emails right there on the screen. So I'd just like to thank everyone for joining today and have a great day.